Cars coming down, policemen. So, this is the start line of the Paris Nice 2019. We're in Fontainebleau, we're on the start line. We have Fred. Hello. We have Enya. And we have me. Um, so I think the next stop will be, I'm not sure, but anyway. Yeah, front of the chateau. Hey, so this is the, the start line in Fontainebleau. Hopefully you can see that. All the riders. Enya's over there. Give us a big wave, Enya. Fred is over there. So we're all we're all ready to go. So day one and 42 kilometers in. So far so good. Martine qui arrive, la courageuse Martine. So this is uh, feed station one. Well done. Oh, the GoPro. <laughs> yeah. I have also a GoPro. Yeah. Yes, you see. Oh, okay. For the mountains. Good. Yeah. yeah. Have something to yes. eat. We have a long way to go today. 215 kilometers. So this is uh, the end of day one of Paris-Nice 2019. I and my wife have cycled 137 miles today in pretty strong headwinds uh, and we're feeling quite tired to be honest. Uh, we're going to go for dinner soon. It's France, so we'll be there for probably three and a half, four hours, listening to speeches, waiting for food. We'll get to bed, we'll have three or four hours of good sleep, and then we'll be up again for stage two. How are you doing, Mrs. E? Well, very well. I'm ready to share my photos. Oh, okay. Signing off for the day. Photo time. Oh, yeah. No. So, morning, day two. Hey. Hopefully, this one now. Yeah, hopefully. We don't know where we, the start line is. So, as you can see, it's much a much nicer day today than it is. It's 171 kilometers. And this is a Niver. Had a good night's sleep last night. Things are good. So, how are you feeling on the day two? Good. No, it's okay. It's just a uh, GoPro. Oh, Say hi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Day two, and we're 27k in. Beautiful day today, and we're having fun. Okay, so we're at the first feed station on day two and uh, I think we got a small climb after, after this until lunch but uh, so far 
so good it's long long days really So lunch stop, day two. Hello. <laughs> okay, so we've we've done pretty well. I'm gonna make a video and then show everyone tonight. We're gonna spend spend about two hours over dinner. Over dinner, yeah. Yeah. Fred, where do you stay to Bon. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. Bonjour. Bon. <laughs> uh, thank you. The ritual. So as you can see today, the uh, the sun is definitely out. It's not as uh, windy and so far we've had no rain. And it's been a pretty good, pretty good ride till now, I think. Yeah, I do Although there's that. been some criticism of my descending, but that's okay. I can, no, I can live no, with that. No, the criticism is that you're not descending fast enough. Ah, I, I see. Okay, well, well, we'll put that to rights soon. In your dreams. Well, I remember last year descending, or two years ago, descending from uh, called the Sini to the bottom of the Fenestra and following a certain um, Mr. Lin, yes. uh, mentioning, oh, mentioning no names? Okay, I well. Just <laughs> um, I'm gonna go and sit down. Yeah. Is that when my uh, wheel yes. decided to go ahead of my front wheel? Yes. My rear wheel? Yes, indeed. So this is the end of day two. We've just ridden 105 miles today and we're at the hotel we are supposed to be at. Um, our bags are there, but we're at another hotel apparently three kilometers away and we've been waiting here now for over an hour, maybe hour and a half and no, nobody, um, nobody seems to care. So we're just really tired and we want to relax and prepare for tomorrow. And this is awful. This is the start of day three. And um, well, the, the rooms were okay, but the, the logistics was terrible. So we're gonna have a convoy now to the start line. And are you having a good day so far, sir? No. Okay, that's good. Madam, are you having a good day so far? Uh, well, you know, come see, come sir. <laughs> okay, so this is day three, and we are going uh, slowly because of the bump there, which I don't didn't expect. Hang on. Three. Okay. Day three. We're 61 k in. We've had some rain, we've done the first small hill and we're having fun! Nose is running. So we're going through the wine country now. Still on day three before the uh, lunch stop. We're taking it easy today because, well, there's quite a lot of rain around and uh, well it's day three how are you good yeah not bad it is isn't it very nice okay so we just climbed this bloody steep coal from basically down there very steep but uh, we've done 124k, so not too far to go now. Just another 25k, and then we'll be home. Well, for the next night, then we can have a shower. 
It's actually stopped raining first time today. Day three, almost at an end. Feeling warmer than I was at the lunch break a few K ago. So, yeah. So, beginning of day four, we're at the start line. We've already done about five and a half, six kilometers um, because the guys took us the wrong way to the start line. But uh, today's a big one. We hit the, um, the Alps today, big time. So, um, yeah. She's shining now. Hey, hey. So, we just finished the uh, the lunch, no, morning, morning stop, coffee stop. We refueled, and uh, now we're almost 43k in. 130k to go and uh, well there's Andrew up front Fred's behind everything's good so we've just done our first thousand meter plus coal we think we have anyway uh, 72k in Left turn! Clear! C'est bon! How are you feeling? Bon! C'est bon! Good! We're good, I think. So... When we got to the uh, lunch stop today, they said we had a very, very short time to go up the Colombia because of the storms, coming storms, and uh, the heavy, strong winds. So we decided, like everybody else, to take the deviation to the next uh, hotel. So uh, that's what we're doing. So today is day five. We stayed at this uh, Mario's hotel last night. And I don't know if you can see in the distance there the trek buses. So uh, we're just about to start today and culminating in the Cote de Madeleine this afternoon. Weather's going to be good. And um, okay. So, today we hit the Alps in a big way, as you can see 4% four, 4 5 kilometers to go, Enyu and I are pretty much towards the front of the, uh, the lot today, pushed really hard, 
I think we're gonna get a lot of oh. day five. So this is why we do it. We're almost 75 k's in. And well, it's frankly magnificent. So today it's 127k to the uh, lunch stop. And then in total 170. And yeah, hi. Hi. Good day. We're going quite fast today. Anyway, see ya. So um, now we're into the Alps and we're actually passing snow on the side of the roads, although you can't see it for the moment. There is some snow around up there. But, and it's, what do you think? It's so flat out of mountain peaks. It's so beautiful. It's lovely, it's so hot but icy. Look, snow, snow. It's not very much. But still, it's snow. This is Jason Ellswood reporting for BRT News. The Alps, day five, out. Oh, the castle up there was, no. Anyway, we're just up there. There was a beautiful castle, Bob. And uh, I don't know if you can see over there the. Oh, I'm in the wrong gear. It doesn't matter. Oh. Up there. I don't know if you can see it. But. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, it's okay. Look. Look at that. Well, I'm not sure if you can see the castle up there. My camera work is not fantastic, but anyway. So we're on uh, Madeleine. Just about four kilometers down from the top, which is just up uh, there. And we cycled the top of there and then we came down and then tomorrow morning we're gonna go all the way down there today we were supposed to do 3,500 meters of climbing and we ended up doing over 4,200 meters of climbing and uh, Enya took off this morning like a rocket and um, well we got to every feed station early so we had good food but it was a very very long day so we're going up Lasse in one video Day six. This is a 
That's what happens. So we're heading up the Glandon. We've got just over 8k to go to get to the, uh, the top of the Glandon. And then it's up to the Qualifer. And then later on we get to do the Telegraph. How are you, Mr. D? <sighs> so, about a kilometer and a half to the top of Grandin, and we're just about passing the snow line now and the glaciers start this is 11 percent average it's beginning to hurt because oh, it's just beginning to hurt after this stop at uh, the top of Grandin and then zip up to the uh, Quarfa and then take it easy coming down so that's, a, that's the scenery we have this is why we cycle well done girl have some water, sparkling water huh? oh thank you okay So this is the top of Grandin and I think that Mont Blanc is over that way somewhere. <laughs> Up there is uh, Qualifer and um, down there is La Bourgazon. So we just finished the uh, Grandin and we're now heading up to the Quad of Fur, which is up there and then who knows and yeah We're going up the Col de Mollard, which is supposedly not a difficult climb, but still, after you've done the climb on and the uh, Madeleine yesterday and the Qualifer, it's uh, a little bit daunting. So check out that uh, chasm there. Wow, what natural forces happened to cause that? Incredible. So we're just heading up the um, telegraph. 
loads of motorbikes going up at the bottom of the telegraph and going up the uh, Col de Mollard I was not in a happy place but I stopped with uh, Enya and Fred and uh, had a coke and a bit of pecan pie and I feel so much better four case to the top so now at the top of the uh, telegraph which is the last call of the day yeah. oh, super super a force oh that's it c'est pas une course il faut garder pour demain oh i'm finished this is a oh. this is the uh, straw guy the top of the telegraph this is the guy yeah So I started at the bottom, feeling like I was never ever ever gonna get up here. And then Fred and Enya very very kindly stayed with me and um well bought me a coke and a piece of pecan pie in the bottom and then I took the wrong turn and uh and then I had to chase back on and then suddenly I, I sort of find some strength so morning this is day seven of uh, ten days we're now uh, just starting off the day we've done four k's and uh, we're going up the Galivia which is what we're doing now although it doesn't look very steep it isn't this is the flat section uh, and then after this we go down the Lotteré, which is a nice gradual descent of about 4% Then we go to the Izawad And then Then we go to the uh, Vars where we're staying tonight This is me, this is Enya Tired Yeah, tired very tired. It's got about 8k to go to the top of uh, the Galibier, and we're just at this point going to cross a little bridge and then go up this way. Yeah, you can see the guys up, up there. At least we'll be in the sun. It's a little bit chilly, close to 2,000 meters. You can see where we just came out from. And where are we going? Valawa is down there. We've only done under 11k, but we've already done almost 600 meters of climbing this is hard but beautiful so we're above about 2300 meters 200 400 meters and it's uh as you can see about the skyline it's quite difficult to breathe actually yeah. So, clear about two and a half thousand meters now. 
always hold on to and cherish these moments when you feel like you're on top of the world but you still have kilometers to go up there so with that uh, chalet is up there I think we've got another kilometer from there so less than one kilometer to go we're going up over the top I hope to go through the tunnel which is there but uh, no they're making us do the whole thing which is over there it's not too bad Well done. So we're now going down the lot. This is a nice climb up. It's only about four or five percent average all the way down to Briançon, which is down there. So uh, this is a good, a good descent. Nice and gentle all the way down to Briançon and then up the uh, up the other one. So we just started up the uh, the Izawad and uh, yeah so it's going to be another few kilometers yet till we get to the top. Ladies and gentlemen I present the one and only Izawad. This is the moonscape uh, mountain. Quite beautiful. Lots of motorbikes going up today. But yeah, as you can see over there, it says 10%, sorry, 10 kilometers. Next kilometers, 6.2%. It's not too bad. So we've got about seven and a half, eight K to go up the uh, the Izawad and it's uh, oh, after doing the Galibier this morning it's still morning it's not very easy but doable so we have about 4k to the top under that now.
this um, this coal is 2360 meters above sea level so again it's not that easy to, to climb and quite steep as you can see this is the Izawad in the final kilometer Beautiful. I'm knackered. Check this out. It's absolutely spectacular. Bonjour, ça va? <laughs> Messy. So we're at the top of the Izawad now. It's uh, 2,360 meters above sea level. This is the second big mountain today. It's uh, pretty spectacular. Here, don't you know? Here she's coming. <laughs> well done, you. Well done. You did it. You did it. I'm so, so proud of you. Just come down the uh, what was it? The Izawad uh, through this this gorge canyon canyon more like and with a headwind all the way down. So we really had to cycle quite hard to go down, didn't we? We did, yeah. Um, but now we just thought we'd stop off here and take a couple of pictures and show you the uh, the scenery. It is quite spectacular. Seven k to the Okay, and then, good. It's uh, quite spectacular. So we're now heading up the the Vars. Not all the way though. This is where we're gonna be stopping for the day. Halfway up I think. So we should have another eight or nine kilometers of this. Then 108.3 K. 2610 meters of climbing. I've had it. I don't know why I thought this was the uh, the Izawad, this path, but it's not as the Vars. Okay, this is becoming torturous now. Let's see what this uh, sign has to say. Fourteen K to the top, 
Well, we're not going to the top, so it has to be less than that. 7.3, 7.2%. Great. Okay, we can do that. Day eight, uh, going up the Vars, and uh, we've got about three and a half k left to go. It's not too bad actually from this point. The lower down part was quite horrible, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a very nice day today. I must confess, I don't remember this part of the climb at all. Maybe it's about seven years since I did it, but uh, it's quite beautiful. I'm going to capture the, uh, the moment. the police they seem to think that uh, it's the center of well actually last time 12 bikes were stolen so maybe it is a, a center of crime but uh, as you can see there's not much happening here so we're just heading up the uh, called uh, coil what's the name of this call kale kale and uh, as you can see, it's pretty bloody spectacular. Once again, France surprises with uh, perfection. This is one remarkable place. Love it. Hello. Hey all. Ah. Yeah, so just a bit more of this. Just thought it was a, a really beautiful place. We've got uh, 21.6 to the summit, 4% for the next kilometer. So we continue up the coal here. It's quite a gentle ascent at the moment. Five, six percent. Quite manageable. Quite picturesque as well as you can see over there. This is what you call a low trip. So we're at 14, 40 meters, 5%. Called uh, KL. I can't believe we haven't done this before. It's so beautiful and quiet and tranquil and quite easy. Maybe that's the reason why we haven't done it, because it is quite an easy climb. But uh, the scenery is just spectacular. We've got about 11k now to go up this uh, coal and it is such a pleasure to uh, just come past here. Coal, we're going down. <laughs>
beautiful. So we're about 7k to go ish I think. This should be another kilometer marker coming along very soon. Maybe not. Okay. Anyway. It's uh nice. Not nice yet, but nice. So we're at the top now and uh, Coming down the uh, canal and uh, gotta turn right here yeah, so we're gonna slow down. Hopefully not gonna go up anywhere. Maybe we are. Yep we are, bugger. Okay, oh, bike behind me. Ah. So we're, I think we're about halfway up the last call of the day. Um, we had a good lunch of uh, lasagna, but still the legs are feeling very tired today. So, we just got a very short distance to go on this last call, day eight. Made it to the top, feeling pretty crap, uh, a lot of crap. Uh, my feet are on fire, my hips feel like they're, I don't know, somebody else's. I'm in a lot of Oh look, it's over there. I may have a drink. I have a drink. I'm gonna have a drink. I'm gonna have a Coke or a Fanta. I think I'm gonna have a Coke. I think I'll have a Coke and a Fanta. And a and a iced tea. Oh. This is the shittest room I think I've ever, ever, 
ever stayed in, ever. It is awful. This look, it's not even, not even a full door. It's not this back, it's just a bit of this. One reason to never ever come back to this place. So it's just gone 6.30 in the morning on day 9. We've just left probably the worst place you could ever stay in. Um, but then as soon as you come out you're greeted with this. So not all bad. Alright. Let's get this con out of the way and then we're on to Cindy Lavonne. How you go? A UG side just left UG side. So we're in the Col de Aros and you can see the road snaking up there. We've all just done 500 meters of climbing. Yeah, but it's pretty, uh, pretty tough going. So we're now nearing the top, we're above 2,000 meters. And we're going along these long uh, lassets. Yeah, there's the last one there, there. Oh, last two. So we've already done over 650 meters of climbing. So we're now heading up the Col de la Bonne with the culmination at the top of Cinde de la Bonne 8,000, sorry 2,802 meters we've got about 15 kilometers to go the road snakes up over there I think we just passed the 2,000 meter mark and uh, so that gives us 802 meters of vertical elevation left to climb over 12 kilometers which to me seems a bit whoa About 10k from the top now. And uh, hopefully, you can see the motorbikes winding their way up. Whoa. Okay, calm down. Mosquitoes or flies. Oh God. So we've got about 7k left to the summit. Okay, we can do this. So, pretty close to the top now, I think about two and a half, three k. I think we must be about two and a half thousand meters. But it's been another wow. Oh, 
c'est pas vrai. C'est super. Allez, pas. So this is now the Côte de la Bonne. You can't go all the way up, you, you have to get stopped. So I'm going to wait to see if anyone wants to go up. Are you going? Down? Eh? No, no, up. No, no, I've been 10 times. Uh, You've been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nice because there's snow, but it's too much snow. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I want to go home. I want to go to the hotel. Any I want to go. I don't know. Let's, I'm going to wait and see. If, if she wants, then we go. Here. Woo -hoo! Bravo! It's it's closed. It's Descending the uh, Côte de la Bonnette now, and hopefully you're going to get some uh, food. Be nice. Yeah. Today's our last uh, stage in Tunis. How do you feel? I can't wait. I cannot wait. We're in Oran. I cannot wait. And we have a 32k descent to a coffee stop. And um, well, this is this is it. Go around, have a look at Fred. Would you try okay. to bring him? If he doesn't answer, we go. <coughs> Good. Jose, hi. Hi. For the video. <laughs> Fred. Good morning. Last day. Yes, nice little uh, trickle down the valley. I would say no, it was quite sedate, wasn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! How was that? Did you enjoy the descent? Wow! So this is our last call, Côte de Saint Martin. Wow. We've got a couple of hills after this, but other than that. So, how do you feel there? Thousand deaths. <coughs> <laughs> ah, well done. So we're spending some time in Nice, aren't we? Oh yes, it's 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 good here. Yeah. yeah, and um, this is over there. 
I was probably in the 30s. Oh. Yeah. It's um it's nice. Very nice. trip to Nice. Yeah. I'll make a video of all of the, um, the stages and uh, post it onto YouTube. But uh, for now, Paris Nice 2019, that's a wrap. Walking back to the hotel, walking, not cycling. Cycling is Sethini. Yeah. So, um, Oh yeah, over there, see? That was us a couple of days ago. <laughs> <laughs> 